Okay, so I don't have much battery left on my phone. I didn't charge it today on the phone I used to do the videos. But I thought I would show y'all the um, the solar lights that Joanne sent me. So I put some in the front yard because there was eight of them, if y'all remember. And I put four back here around the pool. And they do look like fire. They look like real, um, can you see that? Like a flicker? It really is pretty. All right, I don't know how much battery I've got left, but I did want to show you all that. I uh, forgot that I put them out today and I didn't put them out till late. So I didn't know how much, they may not go for a very long time. But what I noticed, was I'd forgot, like I said, I'd forgotten. And when I went to shut the front door to lock it for the night, something caught my eye. And I said, Dad, there's a fire out there. And I really did think that my first thought was that somebody threw out a lighter, uh, like a cigarette or something. And I couldn't see, I couldn't really tell how far away it was. I could just see that glow. And then I opened the door back up really fast. And then that's when I, it like all came to me that that was not a fire. That was these, so I got grabbed my phone to come out here so y'all could see them. So they really are pretty. All right, I'm going to cut this out. I gotta go lock up those baby ducks and chicks for the night. Uh, yesterday, I come across a horrible, 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 long, 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 long chicken snake in the goat pen, in the goat, actually in the goat house. And so I've come out here two or three times a day, um, during the day, to try to see, catch it again. Y'all can see, leaned up against the, the goat house. It's my hoe and my shovel. And so, you know, I, I need these eggs. I need these eggs. I sell these eggs to several different families. Uh, are you choking? It's Frodo right there. I can't really get a good picture of him. Frodo, you sleeping, baby? You sleeping? Bilbo, you sleeping? Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Sam, 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 I am. Sam, what's wrong, baby? He acted weird. I hope he didn't see a snake just now. He just jumped back. I don't know. The snakes are freaking, freaking me out. The thoughts of snakes. I mean, you know, it's just a thought that it could be right there somewhere hanging over you or something. Several times today I've come out and I've looked all around the bottom and up in the wires because see, once you get to that section right there, it becomes just, it's not tight wire. It's, you know, it's not closed up. It's hardware, what do they call it? Hardware cloth at the bottom, but it's just regular wire at the top. I'm just hoping they hurry up and get big enough that they get sort of, but we've all, well, I don't know how many of y'all, but anybody that follows my page has seen what a grown snake will do, what a snake will do to a grown chicken. They literally suck in their head. There it is. Son of a gun. It is in there. Ugh. All right. I got to call. Can y'all see it going up the wall right there in the corner? That's why the chickens aren't in. Okay. Dear me, Moses, my heart is beating fast. All right, I'll see y'all in a minute. So it's day time, so y'all can see. Mm. There's my tools, my weapons of choice. There he is. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, he's starting to stink. 
Mm. Honey, no ma'am. You're not going over there. So here's my babies. Get their water. They're so nasty. Look at ducks are so nasty. Let me see the the little one. See her back over there. She was the one that was in the house. I don't see these two. There she is, right there in the middle. <laughs> she's so tiny. I don't know why she's so small. These other ones are so big already. The, the other three white ones are big, and then she's just, look at her back there. She looks like she was two weeks younger than them. I don't know why she's such a small little, little duck. <sighs> My chickens look good, don't they? Little baby chicks. <laughs> yeah, I, th I was, uh... See, I've got this hardware cloth. I've got some chicken wire here. Then I've got some just real regular wire like I use on the on the fences around. But I put this hardware cloth in here. And it's wrapped. See, it's wrapped all the way around. But it's only four foot tall. All the way around. And um, that's what I was saying that night when I come out. I was like, I have to watch. Like, is he going to be laying up here? See, there's wire up there too to keep the hawks from coming down in here and grabbing the babies. So, uh, uh, you know, you, you come out at night, it's dark, and you know there's a snake because you've seen him. See, he was in my goat yard, um, I mean, my, my goat, little goat house, and he was all the way across the floor. I was like, gum, he's gigantic, and I turned around quietly, even though he was slowly moving. He wasn't moving fast. I ran and got my hoe, and when I came back, he was going underneath the wall. And when I had to go around the goat house and come back to this back side, and I couldn't find him. I figured he went underneath the feed room. But out past that pile of uh, tree, along that fence line where them T-posts are back off over there, a little cluster of T-posts, the ducks had a little clutch of eggs. And uh, they weren't going to hatch because we haven't had a, a drake. I mean, the two ducks that are here, I'm pretty sure, are just girls. They're hens. So, I, I don't know. But she did, and she didn't want me to mess with her that day. And I could see a couple under her. And then that next day when I come out, they were complete. All of them were gone. There were no eggs. Now, that doesn't mean that it was the snake. But I feel like... He had ate her eggs. He had been eaten in here. And we knew this is where he was that night when I come out. Was in here. And I have about four chickens that still lay. Look at them too. They're up in, I don't know if you can see that. They're up in that lay box. Oh, he stinks. Mm. I have to hold my breath. Anyway. Um, I, I was worried that, you know, he might not can get in at the bottom. Well, he can get in right there. That's a low, that's a spot right there. He could have crawled right in there. Look at, there's my feet coming in on the other side for my toenails. So yeah, there's a possibility he could have got, he could have gotten in here anytime he wanted. And he will take a hen, especially one that's trying to fight him to keep him off of her eggs. He will wrap his body around her until she can't move. And then he will suck in her head and he will suck down as far as he can to where it starts getting to her chest where it, you know, he can't swallow no more and they suffocate. He suffocates them. And then he regurgitates or whatever you call it, spits them out and then he eats the eggs. And that's all because, and I had a little fight in him one time and man, it broke my heart. She was at the bus barn at work. The men chasing her around up there. She was just out there in the middle of the, the buses. And it's big cyclone fence all the way around it. So nobody really knows how she got in there. Um, she didn't look like a regular chicken either. Somebody said she was like that wild game type chicken. 
But uh, they called her and put her in a box. And when I got there to work that afternoon, they said, we got you something. It was this chicken. So I brought her home, put her out here with my hens. <sighs> and uh, man, she was, I come out one night and she was fighting a snake. And boy, was she fighting him. And so I went and got uh, my hoe and came back. And uh, when I got back, he was gone. She had put up a fight. She was still fine. And I was telling Dad, I said, my gosh, Dad, I said, I was a little, it, it took me, you know, I s stood there for a minute, like sort of in shock that she was fighting with this chicken snake. And I said, He's, it's, she scared him off, I guess. And he goes, he's going to come back. He said, you need to watch out there. He's not going to let it go. He, you may not see him for a few days, but he'll come back. And for a few days, everything seemed normal again. I was getting eggs like normal, gathering eggs every day. Then all of a sudden, a day came where there were no eggs. And uh, I don't know if it was that same day or the, 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 that same night or the next night, but uh, I went out and he was still in there. He was still in the chicken coop. And I'm not gonna lie, he went to heaven that night. Nope, snakes don't go to heaven. Um, but you know what I'm saying. He had killed her. He had swallowed her neck, swallowed her head. And it broke my heart for her because I'm thinking, man, she put up that fight that day and got him out of there. She, he, she got him away and he came back. And I, I, I you know, he killed her and I took my revenge on him. So, anyway, um, but I wanted y'all to see my little ducks, and they're all okay. All's good with them. But that was a scary night. Mm. Thank God Tony was, I, Tony, uh, had come from somewhere. I seen his headlights on his truck. I turned around to come back to the house. I hollered to see if Lester or anybody was out down there. Because I have a shotgun. And it's going to blast little BBs everywhere. It's not just one, like a bullet. It's a, you know, it's a shell. So, um, I hollered and nobody answered. The lights were on down in Lester's barn and his truck was down there. So I knew they were there, but they were, I guess, in the house. And so as I was running back up here, I seen Tony's headlights on, but, you know, I was just trying to run. And I didn't know if he was coming or going anyway. I didn't, you know, I didn't know. And I got about the middle of my yard and he said, what's going on? And I said, Tony, there's a snake over here. And he goes, all right, I'm coming. So I uh, gave him the hoe and gave him the shovel. And then why he had it cornered and holding it with the hoe down, you know, just like, but he didn't have a good, he didn't have a good, I want to say kill shot, but I don't even know if they're going to uh, flag me for the saying that. But anyway, I, I ran in and got the machete and he took care of it. And all my babies are good. So now I, I'm trying to come out a little earlier. I still have to wait till dark because they're chickens and even though they're babies, it's like they know they go in at dark. It's it's so cute how that's just sort of in them to go to the light at the dark. You know, when it gets dark, go to the light. So for the most part, the, the, the chicks will go in. If it's dark, they will already be in the little coop, in the little brooder. But the ducks, I sort of have to, when I start opening the door, that gate to go into their little, you know, their little run, the ducks will go up that little walkway and go in, but the ducks don't go in like chickens do. You know, like it gets dark, so they go to the light. The ducks don't do it. Uh, but I'm going to have to start coming out a little bit earlier. So make sure that there's, you know, I can see good when I'm out here and making sure they get, you know, they're okay. And even when I come out at night, I still look inside their brooder to make sure something didn't crawl up in there and it's like waiting for them to come in, you know? I don't know how smart snakes are. 
So I, I look in there first before I even usher the, the, the ducks in. And then I lock it. And once they're locked inside the brooder, nothing can get to them. It's completely um, safe inside there. And they don't get let out till daytime. Anyway. All right, guys. I'm going to let y'all go. I love you. And uh, I'll see y'all later.